Yo, yo, shout out to 40 Hours Gold and Cheeky Out LA, man, with the homies. It's both they got bands, AK Poppy, AK Young Don Francisco, Tan Boys, my only key. Like, you gotta understand, man, like, I ain't got no hair on my tongue, man. What's real is real, you know what I'm saying? And niggas don't fuck with Latinos. Niggas, people are scared to gamble on Latinos, whether you be Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, whatever you is. People are scared of that. And, and when I mean the people, I'm talking about the industry people. I mean, because on the streets, we good. You know what I'm saying? On the streets, we official. Like, they, we, we just like the blacks. I mean, we won. But when it comes to this rap game shit, they don't see it like that. You know what I'm saying? So, Pun was, Pun was the last one. Cause, cause, and when I say Pun, because Pun came in and he was a Boricua. He was a Puerto Rican. Like, the way he was spitting, the way he, the way he carried himself. A lot of Latinos came after him. And they weren't Latino. Like they were they were they were either like they white or would be like they black. They so yeah, right. So so like the obstacle man is 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 cause of them motherfuckers, they made it harder for, for niggas like for anybody else really trying to come up because I'm a Latino first before I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like and and, and, I, and I can't stress that enough. So I knew that when I got in this motherfucker or when, or when the tension was on me, I'm gonna show you I'm a Latino. Like if I gotta I always say this shit, if I gotta rap in chocolates, I'm gonna do that. Because I want y'all to respect my culture. You know what I mean? I, I, like, I became a rapper. I wasn't born a rapper. I was a born Latino. But the obstacles, it, it, like I said, is the people before me, after pun, who made it harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the execs who are Latino, they don't look out for niggas. A lot of people on the radio who are Latino, they, and they don't play other Latino artists. It, 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 like I said, it, it, Latinos made it harder for us, really. Honestly, because if we wasn't, if, if we were united and everybody would fuck, every Latino would fuck with each other, it wouldn't be like that. You know, I mean, we would have more Latin artists. But sad to say, a lot of Latinos are scared. They scared to bank on the, they scared to bank on that Latin. They don't want to bank on the Latin, and that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm fortunate enough that you know, what I mean, I, I, I got the ears of, of a few people, and I'm working to get the ears of more people. You know what I'm saying? Because what's real is real, man. When you keep it official, you know what I mean. People respect it. You know what I'm Only other my yo like shout out to my homie Aston Matthews man like you know what I mean like that's another official Latino nigga like and really rapping his side you know what I'm saying like but in New York no you know what I mean maybe now we'll get like that because they see what they got bands and the boys doing it and obviously that's what happens it takes one nigga to grab his balls and be like nah fuck that I'm gonna put the coach on my back then all oh, everybody else start coming behind him but that's cool you know what I'm saying that's that's what's gonna happen but before me nah it was I, and I can't think about anybody right now. Like I said, like you, you, they, are there Latin rappers? Absolutely. But there's Latin rappers who, who don't want to be Latin. They want to be other ethnic backgrounds. Me, I'm, 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 I am who I am. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm going to die who I am. So I have to be who I am in front of the camera. Off the camera as well. Yeah, so, um, well, you know, where I'm from, the whole um, poppy shit is like, you know, it's, it's not only a, it's not only a term of endearment, but it's also what, you know, what other ethnic backgrounds call to connect. You know what I mean? A Dominican nigga who got, who got coke, they call him poppy. That's the connect or whatever. But um, a lot of people um, ain't never sold drugs. You know, a lot of people know about that lifestyle. So I made it into an acronym so that you don't have to be an ex-drug dealer or a drug dealer to be a poppy. You can, as long as you're a proud and powerful individual, you can be a poppy. So that's how I broke the whole shit down. But you know that term came from you know you know the, the blacks or the whites. If I gotta holler at Poppy man for that break. I gotta holler at Poppy for blah blah blah. So that's how that came about. Cause I'm, a, I'm I, I was I was about that lifestyle, so I changed. It. Man, um, when when we saw it, when we started seeing shit picking up, you know what I mean? When we when we when we did the video for Toe Job. And the shit just caught a wave and it just kept on like, you know, it just kept on getting views and people kept on being, kept on fucking with it and Rocky kept on bringing me out to do, to do shows and performing. Like, the more and more we seen the shit was getting serious, we was like, yo, fuck that, yo. We, like, we already moved as a, as a, as a, as an independent company. We was like, yo, let's make this shit, like, silly, let's put it on paper. So, you know, Tan Boys is the crew, but the company is 100 keep it. You know what I mean? That's the label. 
Not only that, Bohemian Keep is the label. Ten Boys is always going to be the crew. But, you know, within Ten Boys, everybody has a role. You know what I mean? Ola, like, he's he's the master, uh, mastermind behind everything. You know what I mean? My cousin Lulu oh, is like Ola's right hand man. I got to do the handles, all the merch. You know what I mean? I got to do the handles, emails. It's all, it's, it, it, it's, it is like a big ass company. You know, the, the company's wanting to keep it, and Ten Boys is the crew. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, kid, we, we all grew up together. You know what I mean? All brothers, all cousins, and shit. The, the, the bodega is, just, is a corner store. That's what we call the corner stores in New York. It's called a bodega. Uh, you know, and, and in a bodega, you know, you have your bare necessities. You know, basically, whatever, everything you need for everyday life is, is basically in a bodega. You know what I mean? It's a mini market. You know what I mean? We, you know what I mean? So. As far as this rap shit go, I got everything you need. You know what I mean? Like as far as this whole the whole music thing, I got what you need. If you want to wild out, you want to dance, you know what I mean? You want to cry, you want to whatever. I got what you need just at the bodega. You know what I mean? So that's why I named myself bodega. Uh, yeah, every, right now you know, in house I do a lot. Everything I do is in house. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything. Even my, my recording, like I, I record in house in my own studio. But um, producers I like to work with, man. Fuck, man. I love to work with motherfucking. Um, it's crazy because the only producer that I really wanted to work with was Alchemist. And you know, I, I got to do some shit with Alchemist, you know what I mean? Shout out to Alchemist. But um, I can't think of nobody, man. I don't want to sound like an asshole, man. But I just can't. I'm thinking, oh. What producers we really, really fuck with, man? I, I fuck, I, I fuck with nigga like Salam Remy. I would love to work with Salam Remy. Um, oh, no. Khalil was ill. Khalil was fucking dope. Um, I fuck, niggas might, niggas think might think I'm bugging, man. I fuck with Will I Am, man. Like, I like Will I Am, bro. I'm saying, he, he, he probably look, he probably look kind of crazy, but I, I love his music. The shit he did for the game on, on game second album, shit was crazy. I fuck with Will I Am. But yeah, Will I Am, Salam Remy, uh, Alchemist, one like, who else, man? A lot of, you know, a lot of producers from the golden era, you know what I mean? From that, from that golden stage of, of hip-hop from like 98 and 2000. Like, a lot of those producers premiere, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know what I mean? You already worked with Primo before? Or? Nah, I met him, though. I know I haven't worked with him yet, though. But that would be ill, though, too, man. Because, like, the producers like Primo and Alchemist, like, they ill because when you rap on a beach, you got to be official yeah, with your yeah, bar. Yeah. You just can't be no regular nigga rapping. And I take that lyrical shit real yeah. seriously. I'm saying so that's why like I, I, I like when I work with them, eventually when I do, like when I work with Alchemist, I have to go in. When I work if I ever get to work with Primo, I'm gonna go to fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check me out on Twitter.com slash bodega bams, your corner bodega.com. Everything tan is on there, man. Want to keep it. I'm in motherfucking California. I'm loving the weather. I'm loving the women. I don't smoke weed, but if I did, I love the weed, man. East side up, Spanish all New York. Shotty by my bed, sleeping with my vest on, holy Bible open, praying to the Lord. If I die today, I'm taking a couple with me. I got feeling for you. I'm taking a couple with me. Bye.